Hey, it's Michelle with Stamping with Michelle. I am here with a video for you. I thought that I would show you a few of my favorite things from the new catalog. Since I can't do my open house in person, uh, the virtual method has to suffice. And I just wanted to point out some of the new things that I'm really enjoying as I'm playing with my new products. So I think the first thing I'm gonna talk about are the new in colors. Of course, that's what everybody is always most interested in. And so these are the five new in colors and they are Misty Moonlight, Just Jade, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, and Bumblebee. And they are a lot of fun. I created this card here that you may have seen on my blog and it showcases all of those new in colors in, in a fun little format. The next product that I wanted to show you that I am really liking is my Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. And this punch here does two different styles of punches in three different widths. So again, I'll bring this card in and you can see that I used um, that punch on this card here. I also used it on the sunflowers card here for this shape. So those are the two different shapes that this punch uses. I have grabbed this more times than I care to admit in the last couple of weeks as I have been stamping. Now I think I'll show you guys a couple of bundles and products that I'm really enjoying. Uh, first is the Forever Fern bundle. This bundle here, um, of course, this is a stamp set and um, the Forever Fern, I think it's uh, Forever Flourishing dies. I've used these a ton as well. I'm constantly reaching for them. If you get the suite of products, then there's also the Greenery Designer Series paper, which is just gorgeous, these, these prints here. If I can show them to you, I'll flip them over here in a second so you can see both sides. Um, but I'm really have been utilizing these a lot as well. So there's, there's the array of different prints that you can get with these papers. And I have a card here. You also may have seen on my blog where I've used, um, the whole suite of products. So you get the greenery paper and the dies, um, and the stamp set that I have pulled in here. So that is another one of my favorite things. My next new favorite thing is the prized peony bundle. And this makes a really fun punch. In fact, let me open it up and I can show you a little more carefully the four dies that you're gonna use to create a single flower. And let me bring in a sample card so you can see you just layer and you tuck them right inside. It goes together so quickly and so easily. Um, and it's just beautiful. You can do it in so many different colors. It's a great, great bundle of products. Well, let me pull this out of the way. Next, I want to tell you about a couple of other dyes and an embossing folder that I am enjoying. So first is the old world paper embossing folder. It gives a great, great texture. You can see that on this light heart, light house card here. I don't know if you can pick up the, and see the texture that is on the balmy blue cardstock, but this is another one that I'm reaching for. You can just add texture kind of wherever. It's subtle and it's easy, but it really adds a pop and adds a lot to your cards. The next um, set of dies here, these are the Tasteful Label dies. And I have used these a lot too. I, I really like these odd or different shapes that you can use when you are creating focal points for your cards or for your words or for whatever it is. And kind of along those lines, these are the Hippo Friends dies. Uh, I did get the Hippo set, but I have been using the dies themselves um, and all of these shapes to create some really, really cool cards. Next, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of the little accessories here, some um, dots here. These are the Elegant Faceted Gems, and I don't know if you can see if I tilt it a little bit. Maybe you can pick up. So you've got gems that are clear, and then these have a pink 
cast to them and these are kind of a white faceted look to them and then these are the gold gilded gems and those are really pretty too i've been using those quite a bit and finally uh this is the new stamp and seal you may have seen this in the catalog and seen that our uh, snail. I already forgot what it was called. The snail was retired with the last catalog. So this is the new one. Um, for comparison's sake, here is my old snail. So you can see it's a little bit larger and it's going to contain more adhesive. Um, it works pretty much the same way. I have been finding it seems to be a bit stickier. I've only used it for a little over a week now, um, but it does seem to be holding things a little bit better than the snail. Uh, the snail did and uh, we also have the stamp and seal plus which is really good for 3d items and i haven't had an opportunity to try that one yet but so that is a few of my favorite things i hope you enjoyed that little quick catalog tour as it were if you have any questions please certainly send me an email at michelle at breton.us or visit my blog at www.michellebreton.com 